We'll begin with Rebecca, who spoke to people who jumped into action after the blimp crashed on their property. Rebecca. Charles and Shannon, the blimp went down over this line of trees behind me here. Witnesses who saw the video say it looks like it's a slow moving disaster, but for them, it all happened very fast. If you're in the vicinity of that uh, blimp going down, you respond directly. Most people stood and watched in horror as the flaming blimp fell back to earth. You heard a big explosion, two or three different explosions and big clouds of black smoke. But a 25 year old woman took action. This is Julie Gallows. The woman you see in the back of the pickup truck doesn't work for any fire department. She's a nursing student. She has advanced EMT training and she was home at her family's farm parking cars for the US Open when she raced to help. We're on scene, but we're going to have to uh, hike to get to the middle of that field. Julie didn't want to go on camera, saying she did what others would do. She said the man was burned but responsive when she got to him. Emergency responders came at the same time. She says she helped to get an IV line started on the pilot and then rode with him until the medical flight crews took him. Witnesses say they were thankful for how fast everyone acted. Somebody's in dire need of help. And you just, you just hope and pray for him and his family that everything turns out. Julie says she's just one of many who were there to help. The Gallo family says where the pilot went down is a hay field on their property. We've actually just learned that this piece of grass right here, that's actually an airstrip. Some of the witnesses wondered if the pilot of the blimp was trying to make it here. Reporting live in the town of Aaron, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Rebecca, thank you.